Welcome to Endless Learning Training Series The Membrane-Based Desalination Technology. In this video we will study about Reverse Osmosis Plant Permissive Interlock and Protection RO Permissive Interlock and Protection What is Startup Permissive? What is process interlock? What is protection? What is the difference between permissive and interlock? What is difference between interlock and protection? Permissive are pre-requirements that are required for system to operate, which are to be fulfilled for safe start of the RO equipment. Interlocks are conditions that are execute when action happens. It used to automate the control of a process or a system. Protection prevent a process system from a harmful condition and to protect the RO equipments, manpower and systems from damage. Motor start permissive Permissive are pre-requirements conditions that are required for operate the motor. Permissive, example for water tank control system, valve V1 open and pressure not low, then motor ready to start. Motor start permissive, control logic, permit to start motor ready. Motor ready status only if both preconditions satisfied. Motor start permissive, control logic, valve V1 full open and inlet pressure low, but permit to start motor not ready. Motor start permissive, control logic, valve V1 full open and inlet pressure not low. If both preconditions satisfied, permit to start motor is ready. Interlock for motor, interlock for water tank control system, pump on when tank level low level, LL, pump off when tank level high level, HL. Interlock for motor, control logic with RS flip-flop set and reset. When tank level low active, then it set the RS flip-flop, then motor is on. When tank level high active, then it reset the RS flip-flop, then motor IS off, E note, if tank level is low level, then motor start again automatically without any interference by the operator, no reset required. Motor protection, motor protection is activated if any one signal is active from the listed signals, motor bearing temp greater than 90 degree, motor bearing winding greater than 130 degree, Valve V1 not open, inlet pressure low. If any one signal activated, then it set the RS flip flop, then output motor trip is activated. Motor protection, for example, motor protection is activated by motor bearing temp greater than 90 degree, then it set the RS flip flop, then output motor trip is activated. Once the system have been forced to a predetermined state by the action of trip, they will remain in that state and even the condition return to normal status. It will not be self rosette automatically. Example if is trip by motor bearing temp greater than 90 after trip. If motor bearing temperature come below 80, it remain in trip status. Trip is manually acknowledged, required reset, by operator or the problem has been rectified by maintenance department. 
Permissive are pre-requirements conditions required for system to operate. Interlocks are used to automate the control of a process or a system. Reset is not required. Protection prevent a process system from a harmful condition. Reset, acknowledgement, is required. Thank you for watching this video.